According to research, very few companies view their data as an asset. Since data differs from other assets, even executives who understand the value of data may struggle to explain it in detail. So let's begin by first answering a basic question. What is an asset? An asset is any resource or good used to generate value. Throughout history, as human societies and technologies have evolved, so have our assets. For example, the use of stone tools defined the Stone Age, the first technical period in human history. During the Bronze Age, people began mining and smelting metals to create harder and more durable tools. Better technology advanced society and human populations increased, even more so in the Iron Age. Today, the advances in digital technology give us the ability to manage and process large amounts of data, making data a vital asset in the functioning of modern society. Data is the asset that powers industries and governments and drives economies. Now, let's define data. What is data? Well, in the 17th century, philosophers used the word data to refer to things known or assumed as facts, making the basis for reasoning and calculation. John Grant, considered the father of demography, was one of the first to compile data on how people in London lived and died. By analyzing large amounts of data, he forecasted life expectancies. In the 21st century, the word data is mostly referred to as information shared electronically and stored in databases and computer applications. However, data is really any representation of things in the real world, such as objects, events, or concepts. This information comes in the form of text documents, images, audio clips, or software programs. However, organizations and institutions struggle to manage data as an asset and assess their value. Why is that? One reason is that data assets are different from traditional assets. Traditional assets are physical. They're tangible, like steel beams or gold jewelry. Data assets are intangible. They're stored in the cloud, our own servers. Traditional assets like oil apply to one purpose, Oil is today's most important source of energy. Data assets can be used for multiple purposes concurrently and consistently. Many users can access and use data at the same time. For example, a date can be used to answer multiple questions. A birth date not only tells the age of a person, but it also answers the question of when that person is eligible for retirement benefits and life expectancy. Many traditional assets depreciate. Everyone knows that a new car depreciates in value the second you drive it off of a lot. Data doesn't lose quality over time or after repeated use. Data assets are additive. They have the capacity to increase in value over time. This is a mechanism of good data management. So, the question is, how do you put a value on data assets? Value is the benefit of the outcome minus the cost to produce it. Value can be measured in financial outcomes, money, achievement outcomes, mission accomplished, or humanistic outcomes, improvements to quality of life. The more you reuse the same data asset, you increase the cost benefit. Data drives value and growth in modern organizations. For example, Today, Rolls-Royce uses cloud-based technologies and data from hundreds of engine sensors to maintain engine sustainability. The core metric Rolls-Royce measures success by is avoiding unplanned grounded planes. In education, Pearson Media Company is significantly impacting student success by making sure that a course is enabled for data that identifies at-risk learners. Providing real-time data in a personalized context is helping faculty to intervene earlier and increase student engagement. Building a framework to discover and realize your data's potential is key to maximizing the company's value and future success.